Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to do a full look using the MAC collection of the Aladdin collection. I'm so excited. I loved the movie and I love themed collections, especially Disney themed collections that MAC comes out with. So I was really excited to get my hands on these products. MAC did send them over for me to try. So I'm trying them all out on the face. I'll let you guys know in the end of the video which were some of my favorites. And if you guys have picked any of these up, let me know down below as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing uh, a full look using this collection and sort of seeing some swatches of the collection, then go ahead and stick around. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the collection. I'm pretty sure I have most of the collection. I think I'm missing one lipstick and um, maybe one of the bronzing powder colors, but I'm just going to apply everything that I have and tell you guys what I think about it and the packaging and everything. I don't know if you guys have seen the movie. It is so cute. So I was really excited to try this collection out. I know some of the products are sold out on MAC Cosmetics, but you can always check Ulta and check if it's there or Nordstrom to check if some of the products aren't sold out on those websites. So if I can find any of the items that are sold out, like I know this eyeshadow palette is sold out, um, I will definitely link those down below. So for this collection, the packaging, super pretty. This is what the eyeshadow packaging looks like. Now they did a nine pan eyeshadow eyeshadow palette which I think is really cool this is the princess jasmine eyeshadow palette so the palette is gold and then it has like the design on the front really pretty limited edition packaging if you're someone who loves limited edition products I think that the packaging on this collection is really beautiful this looks like a mauve tone eyeshadow palette really really pretty and wearable especially if you love those mauve tones it does have a few matte shades a highlight shade you know some deep darkening up shades let me just sh see it does have shadowy lady i was going to say that looked like shadow shadowy lady um so anyways a really nice eyeshadow palette so i'm going to start off using this okay i'm going to start off with this shade in here i think it's called no ordinary lamp and it's just like this matte pinkish shade and I'm gonna go in between that and the shade Riff Raff which is a cool tone. This one's lighter and then I'm gonna build it up and use that one over there. That's pretty. I like that color. It's almost got like a a little bit of a pink hue to it. But that's a really nice soft transition. I was a little bit afraid to see the movie to be honest because I love Aladdin and I thought like nobody could play the genie better than Robin Williams, but I honestly thought Will Smith did such a great job as the genie character. I just thought it was, he just did such an amazing job. I was really impressed because like I said, I had like high, <laughs> high standards for that movie just because Robin Williams just so encapsulated that character. Um, okay, so now I'm moving to the shade Riff Raff, which is a little bit deeper, still a matte shade. And I'm just going to kind of build upon that transition. I love shades like this, which are like the cool tone, almost like taupey with a little hint of a mauve shade to it. And that's what this Riff Raff, it kind of reminds me of Corey from MAC which is one of my favorite like mauve matte taupey type colors. It's a really pretty transition of these two mixed together. Okay and then I'm going to use this shade over here called Abu. I'm just going to pack that on out here. I switched my brushes. I did not like that brush for this shade. Yeah, that's more like what I like. This has a lot of fallout, so I'm going to have to go in and clean that up for sure. This does have shimmer in it, but I just kind of want like a sheer sort of wash of color of this shade. Okay, so I just kind of built up this Riff Raff shade, the shimmery shade, on the outer corner using this is a e45 blending brush from sigma this does have a, like i said a little bit of a shimmer to it so as you build it up you can sort of see the sheen and 
they have this really really beautiful sort of duochrome shade what color is this one it's this one's called princess jasmine and it's just really beautiful i kind of want to use this and press it all over the lid but get it a little bit wet so i'm going to first go in with a dry finger on this princess jasmine shade and just press that all over the lid and then I'm going to go in in the center of it and get it wet. I got my finger a little bit wet. You can really see the duochrome when you get it wet. It has this like really pretty teal duochrome to it. There's this really pretty shade right next to it. It's almost like this lighter sort of pinkish shade right here bring a little bit of shine right there okay this collection comes with a liner it is the graph black liner and it's just like black in really pretty packaging i'm gonna use that to smudge out on my upper lash line i've actually never tried these liners before Oh yeah, that's nice. Comes to a point, it's a retractable liner. I'm gonna take the shade Shadowy Lady. It's just this super deep, dark, blackened purple shade in the palette. And I'm just gonna kind of smoke out that liner a little bit here on the outer corner. I love that shade. Okay, I'm going to apply mascara and then I'm going to come back with my face products on and we'll go into some of the rest of the collection. Okay, for my lower lash line, I put on this um, Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Worldly Mauve on my lower lash line. And now I'm just going to put this Riff Raff shade, sort of smudge that out. This brush also had a little bit of that shadowy lady, so it kind of blended it in a little bit darker. And then I'm going to use this middle, like, purple shimmer shade. And I'm just going to tap that under in the center. And put a little bit of bottom lash mascara on. Okay, I really quickly wanted to swatch some of the other shades that we didn't use. Middle shade... Um, this gold shade, really beautiful, a silver shade, and then the rest of the shades we used. So these were the three um, that we didn't use. So some really pretty shimmer shades. My daughter made me this bracelet today. This palette retails for $35. So I really like it. I really like the way that the purples look on the eyes. They're like nice and smoky. And if you're a purple lover, I think you're really going to love this eyeshadow palette. It's a nice everyday palette with some cool tone. And it just makes a really pretty purple look. Okay, let's go in with some face products. I have the Powder Blush Collection. So I guess it is just two shades. So I do have both shades of this. There is this shade, which is deep golden brown. Your wish is my command. And that's like, looks like a bronzer to me. And the other one looks like a highlighter. It's calling it a powder blush, but it is the always one jump ahead. So first I'm going to go in with this one. Your wish is my command. It comes in this really pretty packaging gold so like I said if you're a collector you're gonna love this packaging this is like a deep dark bronzer shade so I'm just gonna use this as my bronzer for this look and try to lightly apply this because it looks a little bit deep for my skin but and very warm I guess I'm gonna use that as like you know my blush slash bronzer. I actually like the way that it went on. I thought it was going to be a little bit dark, but this is going to be something that I keep and use. These both retail for $35. This is the Always One Jump Ahead, and this looks like more of a highlighter product. has like a, the impression of the lamp on it. 
just like a really pretty golden glow. I'm gonna use this in my inner corners and then also as a highlighter. And brush. This is a really pretty highlight. I love that. It's like subtle, but it still gives a really pretty golden glow. Okay, I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner. almost like if I swatch it like a little bit like golden like a golden peachy right there really pretty this will be a nice like subtle subtle highlight if you're I would say light to medium skin tone if you're or even darker but if you're really really fair this might be a little bit too deep for you okay there was one pigment in this collection and this is rose pigment now rose is already a permanent shade but it just comes in this collection uh, it's a really really beautiful like basically like almost like a rose gold looking pigment color this particular pigment makes me look a little bit ill so this is something that I know for me isn't like the best look but it is a really pretty color I think if you mix it with something else to really but never one time I put it all over my lid and like on my lash line no that was a huge mistake I looked like I had something wrong with me okay next up we're getting into some of the lip products like I said I have uh, several of them here I'm gonna try and decide which one to use the lipsticks in this collection we have princess incognito it's really pretty let me just show you like it says Aladdin on it really pretty packaging uh, this shade looks like a really nice this looks like a really nice mauve pink shade that's a beautiful color this one says it is a matte formula and then we have the shade Raja. This is like a deeper, more mauve shade, like a deeper with berry in it. And then we have this last color. I think this is the lighter of all the shades. And this one is Friend Like Me. More of like an everyday like pinkish, light pink color. I think I'm going to try that one on. I'm put this lip liner from It Cosmetics on. This is Your Lips But Better in Buff Nude. All right, and then I'm going to put this shade on. That's really pretty. That's like a really pretty, almost like cool tone pink color. I think that's like my shade for sure. I have this really cool lip product. I'm going to show you before I do the lip glasses. I'm unsure what I'm going to use. This is a Crystal Glaze Gloss in I Wish. And it just it has like really beautiful packaging. It's just a lip product with like a little bit of glitter in it. You can use it to sort of like transform your lip product, but it's just really like I would say like a a shimmer gloss. It smells really good like vanilla cake, like MAC product lip products do. Um, so that's a really nice like lip potted gloss product. The lipsticks re retail for $20. Um, and that potted gloss, the crystal glaze gloss retails for 24. And then we have three of these lip glasses or are, are these lip glasses? Yes. The lip glasses, we have diamond in the rough, which is this really pretty golden, almost like golden with a ton of shimmer in it shade. Oh, that's really pretty. That is gorgeous. It's like this golden shade, but it has like a ton of multicolored glitter, like pink and golden glitter. The packaging on this, again, is really, really beautiful. Again, these retail for $19. Then this one is more of like a pink shade. This one is called Jewels on Jewels, and this is like a golden peach with gold glitter. I love that one right there that would be pretty on top of what we've got going on here and then this last shade is called magic carpet ride looks more of like a pink base with like a light pink base with gold and sort of greenish glitter but it gives more of like a pink hue right there so all three of these are really really beautiful I think I'm gonna go with this last one. No, maybe I should go with the maybe I should go with this last one. 
because we have like such light pink color on the lips. Let me just see. Yeah, that's really pretty. That gives like a nice little pink kind of matches the hue on the eyes. That was the full collection, the Aladdin collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a look to see if you wanted to pick up any of the products. I really like this lip combination. I love those lip glasses. They're all very, very beautiful. I really liked that highlighter because it's like nice and subtle, but it's golden and it, it really is soft and buttery. So it kind of builds up on the cheek nice and doesn't look like too, too shimmery or too powdery. It gives a really beautiful glow. I love that palette because it's a beautiful like mauve purple palette where I could I feel like you could get a really nice mauve purple eye and yeah I'm pretty impressed by most of the products I think the only thing I would pass on is the pigment and maybe the potted lip gloss just because I'm not into like the the potted lip products um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this video I will link any of the products that I can find online thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video Mwah.